What is going on YouTube? Today I have something that I've eaten before, but this is a very particular video because it's kind of like a test video. But let me just show you guys what I got to eat first before we get into it. So I got something I can't open apparently and something the, the lady uh, tossed around. So I got myself some Lazis here. Um, so the reason why I got this initially before I seen this was because the food is very white. And I don't know if you guys will be able to tell again, but I got a new camera. So a very particular reason why I got a new camera. They also didn't give me the extra hot sauce I asked for, but it's fine. Let's get into this first. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything you want me to try, anything you want to talk about. I'm down to do that. There's always time to in the description. So here we go. Nice. So, I know not too long ago, I'd already gotten a new camera. So a little context for the situation. Before, this camera I just got, I had the GoPro. I had the GoPro Hero 11, and initially I bought it because of some of the capabilities I saw I had. I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it recorded really well. I was like, okay, this is nice. But upon getting it, I realized there's like a lot of flaws with it that I couldn't really, uh, you know, that I couldn't really be okay with. So the GoPro is a great all around camera if you're actually like going out and not just going out, but doing like sports and things like that, which I knew before I bought the camera, but I didn't know how like particular the camera was. And so many of the problems with the camera were things that were kind of against what I needed to do here on this channel, right? So for one, see how this focuses? I can just get in there and you can see the food and how good it looks. Yeah, not a thing with the uh, with the with the GoPro. GoPro had a minimum focus distance of about twelve inches, so I can only focus if the food is right here, literally like right here. Right? If I want to get close up, I can only go like this far before it gets blurry. It doesn't get super blurry, but it's enough for me to notice and for me to get annoyed. That's the first thing. And that was actually like the main thing because as a person who eats food on YouTube and talks about it, I don't show the food to the camera all the time, but I show it enough where like you guys need to be able to see it, right? There it didn't, it didn't focus. I don't know. It, it, it just didn't feel like focusing there. There we go. There's a very particular spot where it focuses, but the GoPro doesn't focus. And then another thing was the overheating. The overheating was absolutely disgusting on the GoPro. Like absolutely horrendous on the GoPro to the point where it's like I couldn't even record. Um, my last video, or not my last video, probably my second last video, you'll see it. Um, the one where I went to Rudy. I was recording that video for probably like like seven minutes or 11 minutes, something around there. And the camera just overheated. They just overheat. I can understand shooting in 4K is like difficult on the camera, or at least it can be, and it can cause the camera to overheat and things like that. But It should be overheating after 10 minutes of use. And I was like, I can't, I can't use this camera. Like it just, just unfortunately isn't the camera for me. 
right? Like, look how crisp and clean that is on the focus. The, Bro the GoPro can't do it. Um, but there were a lot of good things about the GoPro. So one, it can only shoot, or not only, but it can shoot up to 5.3K and like 120 frames per second or something, something ridiculous. And it was really good for like slow-mos and things like that. Like, it was really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Excellent quality. But I'm not shooting in 5.3K. I'm pretty sure my computer can't even edit videos that are in 5.3K. Oh, I remember the next thing that really like, that really just didn't work with the GoPro. GoPro is absolutely horrible, and I mean horrible, in low lighting. Probably one of the like w one of the worst cameras I've ever seen in low lighting. That camera to have it on the best quality setting would be so dark like my my you can see in my last videos my most recent video the one where i did it at home it was on like the highest quality setting but i don't have the lighting in here to do that well technically i do i did buy two lights but i'm only using one because i don't have enough space to use the other one because it takes up so much space so it's like the videos not so dark i don't know how dark this one's coming out but it's definitely lighter than the other one I'd say I'm using the Canon R50 right now. A bit more expensive than the GoPro, but from what I'm seeing, from what I'm when I'm using it, it looks better. Like I like it better. The only problem I have with it is that it's a bit cumbersome. Like if I want to take it out to my car, it's gonna be a bit difficult. And that's a problem, but like, I think that's a problem that I could probably like get over, you know? Like it's not that big of a deal to me personally. Yeah. Nice. But all around, we'll see. There's also another problem that I might have to deal with. I think the audio levels on this are, are a bit too high. I'm not too sure because I'm seeing that the audio is peaking through my external microphone when I plugged it in. I don't know if I need to turn it down in the camera or something, but I guess I'll figure it out. But you know, that's a, that sounds like a tomorrow problem. But But this camera's about to die. I know I just complained about the uh, the GoPro dying. Or oh, uh, overheating technically, but this one, I was using it a lot. And then I just like threw it on, started recording because I just got my food right. So it already has like no battery. Let's do the funnel bite there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Look, see, the GoPro can't get this close. And like, that's sad, show food. <laughs> All right, guys, with that being said, that was Laziz. Um, give it like a Laziz out of 10. This isn't really a video for me to review the food. This is a video for me to kind of like eat and test out the camera, see how it works. So I'm gonna take this, adjust some things. The autofocus wasn't working how I wanted to work. I think I'm like doing something wrong with it. I'm not too sure. So we'll definitely, we'll definitely see. But with that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want to try the top about. Check out the suggestions in the side. And yeah, that was Laziz. The GoPro Hero 11 was pretty good, but it just isn't for everyone, especially like me for what I'm trying to do. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And this is the first shoe review. Peace.